I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video as much as I did. It was great to see it happen quite as easily as it did yesterday. It never really felt that much in doubt. Um, and I just felt quite confident throughout the whole of that video that we would probably be promoted. So I'm going to have a quick look back. I'm actually recording this immediately after the last video. So I'm going to have a quick look back now uh, over some of the things that have happened this season. Um, and we're going to have a bit of a planning session um, and we'll see who we can get in for our Serie B tilt this time around. It's Serie B, take two. So first of all, a bit of a season review here. A couple of players, Colucci and Castellucci. We've also got Castelli as well, just to make it even more confusing, um, have been inducted. Castellucci, even though he's been playing up front, is actually playing on the left wing in the um, the main team. That's what it looks like now. Um, so you can see quite a few players there who are still with us. Di Marco won't be for much longer. Uh, we've got Colucci, Riella, Rolla, Castellucci, although he's only here on loan, of course. And that's it. Uh, but there are a few players who are currently at the club who may well be added onto that list shortly. Um, and that's something we need to have a, have a think about in terms of who we want to keep on and who we might not want to keep on. <clears throat> You'll have to apologise. I'll have to apologise here for the uh, the fact that I am not uh, synced with my, my lips. The reason is because my mic wasn't working for a while. Uh, so <clears throat> I'm going to try and kind of rehash what I was talking about. Uh, I did have a quick look at uh, getting this guy back in, Manuel Di Chiara, who I had for a few years. Uh, but it just didn't really seem to make sense. Um, and I don't think it was even necessarily possible um, to do that. Um, but yeah, we just talked about a couple of a couple of the uh, the players who we haven't seen for a while and uh, how they might have been getting on. You can see some of the, uh, the blasts from the past there, that first season. We had Sassi and Nepi who were banging in the goals for me. Uh, the best 11 obviously is there. You can see... Uh, Roller is on the right wing, which I think is completely, tra it's a complete travesty because I, I love Roller, but Nesta is clearly the best right wing. I think he's probably the best player I've had. So it seems a little unfair that he is not in that team. I'm not quite sure why that's happened. So um, we were talking then about the um, this club vision, which we seem to be doing quite well with at the moment. We are selling quite a few players on for a profit and it's something I'm going to continue to try and do. Um particularly as we hopefully start to upgrade the squad. Some of those lesser players can, can go for some, some cash because generally we are getting in um, free transfers at the moment, even though they're better free transfers and costing us more in terms of contracts. Did give them a team meeting and I tried to kind of impress on them that we can do more than just avoid relegation. They don't seem to like that, which is a shame. Um, just wanted, I'd quite like to see a little bit more ambition from my players, to be honest, because they we shouldn't really even be close to relegation this year. Um, we, I mean, we shouldn't have been last year either, but... Hey -ho. Uh, we took look, had a quick look at the strengths, but um, I tend to find that screen's not massively helpful anyway. Um, you can see there that uh, Castellucci got the uh, second place in the top goal scorer award, um, and that team of the year he was there as well, along with the keeper, um, in a team that was completely dominated by uh, players from uh, a team whose name escapes me, I can't remember their names, but the team that won the league. I just gave some praise to those, those players who have clearly been a big part of our promotion that year with Castellucci and uh, the goalkeeper Drago. You can see there's quite a lot of players here who've had, you know, they've had a really, really good year. Lots of green average ratings, um, particularly back end of the season when we went into those, those playoffs with really good form on our, on us and uh, obviously carried that through to win the playoffs, which was terrific. Had a quick look through the squad here. It's going to be very hard for me to do this in any detail because I can only see a tiny version of the screen. But uh, you can see there that some of those some of those players have clearly had very very good seasons this year. Um, those those some of those players obviously who are seen as being good enough for um, Serie B. There are clearly some that aren't, which is why we we are going to need to make some um, improvements to the squad, and you will see some of those coming up shortly. Um, but yeah, I just felt that Castellucci, whilst he had a good season, I didn't really feel like 21 goals in 40 whatever it was games, you know, less less than a goal every other game, just wasn't quite enough for my top scorer to be getting. I wanted, to, I want to see if I can improve on that, uh, and particularly with the with the league, with going up a league, I didn't really want to sort of just make do with Castellucci. Um, although if I could get him back on loan, I was perfectly happy to have him as a backup. Uh, I think that's probably what he would be. 
And moving on to the uh, all-time stats, you can see here quite a few um, people have moved up through the ranks. Roller and Riella obviously going to be, um, if they stay, which they may not, but if they stay, they're going to be, um, well, Roller will overtake Gildi next season if he does stay, I think. Um, and we've got a couple of players here who I think will be stalwarts. Colucci in particular, I could see him being the record holder for a while. Uh, the 10 members of the 100 Club are here now. Um, I won't always show you the whole of the 100 Club, but for the moment, that seems to me a, a very good cutoff point. Reddy, Bro and Colucci just about uh, getting over the line this season. And in terms of the goals, well, Gildi's still massively on top. Um, the sad thing, unfortunately, about this is that we've got a striker who's done really well. And he's going to have to leave, unfortunately. So we're going to yet again have... Um, a striker who gets to a decent number of goals and then leaves, which has been the case with all of the strikers you can see here. Um, and it's really disappointing that because it, it sh I shouldn't have a midfielder at the top of this list, but they, they, these guys have just been two or three season wonders maximum. In the case of Castellucci, really only a one season wonder. He did he was here for two seasons, but his second season was by far the better of the two. Um, so it would be nice to get a striker who could stick around for a while and knock in the goals, uh, perhaps be the first player to get to 100 something that I really want to try and achieve in the next few uh, seasons. But for now, um, we basically my job now is to try and find that striker, amongst other things, but that striker I think is the, is the most pressing thing. Castellucci, 21 goals in 40 games is not bad, but we're going up a level next season and I don't really feel like that's quite good enough. Um, you see Serie B, I wouldn't say he struggled, but he wasn't brilliant. Uh, and I I, you know, if, he, if he'd got 30 goals this season, then I'd have been thinking about giving him another chance in Serie B. I think I need better than him next season. Uh, so that's what I will be looking for. And there are certainly a few other places that I might be looking to upgrade. So I'll be back with you every time that there's anything significant to report. Uh, but I'll see you in a second. Right, I'm hoping these things are not about to normal. I'm having, having a few problems with my Streamlabs at the moment. So that's why the sound's been a bit odd uh, on the last ones. I didn't really want to go back and um, try and rehash it because it just... There was too many complications and it would have been very hard to um, to redo it. Um, so I just sort of, I, I did the commentary over that. You may have noticed it didn't really match my uh, talking. Um, Christian DiMarco has left. Um, he has, uh, we've got a fee for him, which is good. Uh, 60,000, not a huge amount given how good he was. He was a big, big part of that promotion. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. We have brought in our striker and i'm really happy with him i think this guy is going to be very very good uh, the eight passing i'm not too worried about I don't he's not there to pass he's there to finish off goals um obviously castellucci leaving we're gonna we needed to replace him i have a feeling this might this guy might actually be better not quite as good physically not quite as good mentally but his technic technical ability as a striker is better uh, he's just as quick and i think he's going to be a big 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 part of our um, challenge to stay in the league next season uh, so that is really, really good news. In terms of what we need to build, uh, there's still quite a long way to go, I think. I think we these are the very bare minimum we need at the moment is a left back. Now that DeMarco's gone. Probably a central midfielder. I could use Riella, I could use Palermo, but I don't think either of them's quite ready yet. Castellucci obviously won't be here. Um, and uh, a left winger as well. Uh, although I could use Reddy there. He was a lot better last season than he had been out front. I say a lot better. He was a bit better. Uh, he was scoring more goals for sure. It was interesting. I think for the moment I'm happy to have him there. But if we can find a replacement for him, then that would probably be a good thing. I'd rather not have Haraldson in the squad next year, really. Uh, I'm perfectly happy for these guys to be backups. Uh, but ideally, I would want to get, at the very, very least, a left back and a central midfielder, plus a few more players to fill out this squad because I haven't really got anyone in the lower, lower teams who can come in and be sort of that kind of player, really. Lacti isn't really there. I don't know why he's in there uh, at the moment. Uh, he's in the first team squad. Uh, but yeah, you can see in terms of the potential, there's no one really who's looking. This guy Petrola, not ready. DiMarco, not ready. Palmiteri, not ready. So there's not a huge amount that I can use back here at the moment. This guy Anselmo, promising but not special, I don't think. Uh, Horacio Cala, very good. Uh, Vignola, I've seen worse. Actually, do you know what? I'm just having a look at that. I'm wondering whether maybe I've got him. I've, I've underestimated him. I might just give him a chance. Very much a backup, but 
given how short we are on backups at the moment, it might not be the worst thing in the world. Um, so that's the squad as we stand at the moment. Um, and yeah, there's definitely a, l a little way to go yet. I'm not sure why he, I think, did I press on the wrong guy? I think I might have done. Let's put him back into the under 20 squad. Make sure that we get, ah, he's already there. Oh, there he is. Right, so um, at the moment we have that squad. Whether that's why I want to stick with, I, I mean, obviously I don't. I want more than that. We need bigger than that. But those are the players I'm perfectly happy to have in the first team squad this season. There are a couple there who could drop down. Basically anyone with the two stars. If if I if I have enough strength and depth from other places, they can either go down to the reserves or in the case of the older ones, Riella Palermo, uh, I might look at loans for them. Same thing for Rollo and Delfini. If we can get the kind of quality that we need to improve on them. Um, but it's a starting point. Um, and obviously we're going to be going from here to try and find a few more players. We are, we've already sent the scouts out. Right, so here we are a few days later and we've got a few more players in. Well, two more. Giulio Squizzato is coming from uh, Genoa on loan. Um, backup, no more. Um, decent backup. I like the physicals um, and that will become very, very useful, I think, at, at times in the season where perhaps the, the squad's a bit tired. Uh, I think he, him coming in to kind of just give us that little bit of breathing space might be quite useful. And then Jacopo Petriccione is the other player we've had in. Just a very, very solid central midfielder here. He's only he's 34, so he's only going to be here for one season. Uh, but I think he should do a decent job. He's played for Frosinone in Serie B for quite a long time. He's got a lot of experience of the league. I think Petriccione hopefully will be a big signing for us. And he will come in, I think, for Vignola for now. He will certainly be starting the season for me. By the end of the season, I imagine he won't be. Uh, but for now, that's the plan. Um, with Reddy, is going to come out of the side now. We've got to squeeze that top, but Reddy will certainly be playing on the bench. Um, and he will come on, no doubt. Um, still looking for a few players. Need, definitely need a left back. That's without a doubt. You can see I've got loads of trialists here at the moment. Oh, I'm running the rule over. Um, one or two of them certainly going to be pretty good players, I think. Uh, probably won't be much more than that. But um, the plan is to kind of keep cycling around and seeing... Uh, how many players that we can get in um, on decent kind of contracts. If you look at the contracts, we've got pretty decent um, control of wages. Top three are all newbies. Petri Gianni, Squizato and Bolzan. And obviously I am paying a bit more for them. But the people who I'm kind of okay with being in the team, people like Diaby, got in for virtually nothing. And that's, that, that's very helpful in terms of um, control over the wages because the players that I'm going to attract, they are going to be needing these kind of wages. Um Hopefully I can offset that by a couple of sales. So someone like Reddy, I'm just thinking possibly I might sell him. Um, if I can get the kind of money that the, the valuation suggests, then I think that would be something worth doing um, just to offset the, the wages that I'm clearly going to be paying this season. Um, so if I can do that for once, one or two players, then that's something I will look at. Uh, I will be back shortly when hopefully I'll have a left back and we will have at least a first team, if not a fuller squad. Right, we've got to another update and we've got three signings in. Eduardo Giliberti was the first. He's very much a backup, but he's a backup for the whole left side. I love the physicals, but he's never going to be any more than a backup. Pretty clear. Uh, Nicola Volta was the next one, who is going to be a pretty good central midfielder, I think. Decent player. Only 22, still some room to develop, so hopefully a good player. And then a very, very familiar name, Adara Bassett. Now... This guy was useless the first time round. We, we signed him quite a while ago now, and he was poor. He's gone away. He's been at Vibonese. He's done quite well. He's not been brilliant, but he's done quite well. And frankly, I'm finding it difficult to find the really good... I mean, I, I don't think he's a first choice, uh, although I could be proved wrong about that. Certainly my assistants think I'm wrong about that. They think Bassett should be a first choice player. Um, but I don't, to be honest. We'll see how, the, how it goes, but I... I my feeling is probably not. Um, I think it's probably a case of Volta or Bassett, rather than Volta and Bassett. But we'll see. I could be, I, as I say, I could happily be proven wrong about that. Um, we will see how things go. For the moment, though, um, that is my squad. We are, as you can see now, we have got a fairly decent level of squad. You know, Roller, okay, it's two two ability, but I'm perfectly happy to have Roller in the side this year. Um, and we've got, you know, backup. You know, at least one and a half star quality in just about every position possible. Yes, I still want a bit more. And we've got a couple more people coming in. Both of these players, I think, will be in shortly. 
think probably both back up. Uh, although possibly Cesarelli might become uh, the first choice. I'm not sure yet. It's, quite, it's going to be close. Gilberti is um, is pretty good physically. He's obviously pretty poor technically, but we'll have to see how things go with that. Um, it's starting to take shape, this squad now, as you can see. This, uh, we've got enough players. You know, if, if, if I had to stop now and not buy any more players, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But obviously, I'm still hoping for some improvements. Um, I'm hoping that Bolzan will be the striker who will get me lots and lots and lots of goals, but I could probably do with one more just because you just never know if he's going to be um, available all season. And I don't really want to rely on Reddy and Stipper because whilst they're promising, they've never really done it as strikers. Reddy is a left winger, I think, now. Um, and he's good backup at the on the left wing, but I'm not convinced of it about him at uh, striker. The other possibility is that we could use Scuzzato up front, but he's definitely more of a winger than a striker. Can't really finish. Um, so yeah, that's not really an option I want to I want to be using. Um, but yeah, that's where we are for the moment. I've just realised. Have I accidentally managed to keep Castellucci? You know what? I think I have. I've managed to keep Castellucci. I had absolutely no idea. I must have must have um, negotiated that a while back because I didn't know I'd done that. Uh, it's great news. Um, the question now is, is he better than Bolzan? I think the answer is probably yes. It does mean we don't need to get another striker, of course. Uh, who's better? I think Bolzan is actually marginally better. There's not a lot in it. Um, and I'll obviously have Castellucci on the bench. But I did. I mean, I said that I didn't think he was quite the player that I wanted him to be in terms of the top, top scorer um, of the season. I just felt like I needed something better. As a second choice striker, on the other hand, absolutely fantastic. Um, so that could be um, a really, really significant thing. I genuinely didn't realise I'd done that. Um, so that is great news. A couple of players coming in shortly. I will be back uh, to show you what the squad looks like once that happens. But I'm certainly getting to the point now where I'm fairly happy with this squad. A couple more additions, just a bit of quality. And we should be pretty good, I think, this season. Right, we are now at the start of the season. It's Coppa Italia. For the first, well, for the second time, but the first time this season, first time for a couple of years. Um, before I do tell you, show you that, we have had a bit of a cash injection, which was much needed, half a million pounds, just above. Uh, we're still hugely in debt, um, but hopefully with a bit of extra money this year, I'm not, never quite sure what this is showing because I know that I'm getting a bit more money in this year and hopefully that might mean that things can get a little bit better through the, the season. We have made a couple more signings. Um, Abdullah Bassett came in. He was. Uh, did you see Cesarelli? I don't think he did. So we signed Ces Stefano Cesarelli. Cesarelli, I'm not sure. Uh, 22 year old, decent player, no better than that. Um, I think he'll probably play quite a lot, but whether he'll play every game, I'm not sure. Um, at the moment I've got him playing at centre back, that may not uh, last. In fact, actually, it's not going to last. I'm going to have him at um, centre back. Uh, I'm going to have Cap Colucci at centre back. Um, at the moment, I'm going to go with. Gilberti as the left back, but Cesarelli might come in. Um, it's good to have the, the backup there anyway. Plus, it means that Gilberti can play. In fact, I might give Gilberti, I think I've changed my mind. I'm going to put Gilberti there and Cesarelli at left back um, so that I can play them both. Uh, it also means that Michele Reddy, who is not really ready, um, doesn't have to play. Um, so that was one, one uh, signing we've made, Cesarelli. And then Diego Papetti is the last one who's come in right back. Uh, probably a backup, um, but I don't really have anyone else at the moment. So <laughs> um, the reason I don't have anyone else is because I let uh, Lacti go to the end of the season um, on loan at Triestina. Um, he's one of those players like he's perfectly good enough as a backup, but it just felt to me like he was. It was probably the right time to move him on, um, and the loan with his, all his wages being paid. So. Uh, just felt like the right thing to do. If he has a really good season, then we might look at seeing if we can extend his contract and bring, keep him at the club. Uh, but at the moment, we've got Papetti. I'm obviously going to be looking for another right back uh, as a backup because I'm not convinced by Mattioli as full back. He's a central defender and he's not a great one at that. Um, so we will obviously, st we are still in the market for players. Uh, we've got a couple of players already. Um, hopefully, come well, no, just the one. Uh, Luca Belloni is coming in. Um, to provide cover on the, uh, in the midfield and on the wing. Um, essentially, be because we lost uh, Di Marco on the left, back, on the left wing, le left uh, back role, we kind of needed to have two, at least two players to, to fix that. And whilst Cesarelli can play on that left wing, 
he's quite significantly better as a left back than a left winger. Um, so it will be an emergency use only. Gilberti obviously can also do that. It's nice to have this kind of um, versatility, but Gilberti physically very good, technically not really good enough, which is why I'm, I want to get uh, a couple more players in. I've got Suizato as well, uh, who is a very good inside forward. He's not as good a uh, winger, but I, I think I probably actually, I think I'm, I've talked myself into playing him in this game. I think it's, it's a bit touch and go, but it's nice to have some options, you know, even Mike Michele already, I can play him now and then. He had a better season last year on the wing. Um, and I certainly don't feel worried about playing him in the odd game here and there. I don't think he's good enough for Serie B. But if he has to play now and then, he's perfectly good enough to play the odd game now and then. So this is my lineup for today. Drago, Papetti, Pizzoni, Colucci and Tetarelli. We've got Abdullah Bassett in the centre midfield. Although, no, that's a mistake. Diaby in the um, anchorman role. Then Riella. Bassett and Petrucciani in the middle, Squizzato on the left, and Alessandro Bolsan will make his bow on the uh, left-hand side. Um, same, with, we're going with the same tactic as last year. It worked fairly well, particularly the back end of last season when we were we went on a really good run, including those playoffs. Um, so hopefully that can continue. Um, Clucci and Pizzani have got a really nice partnership. Hopefully Bassett and Petrucciani can develop that too. Uh, and perhaps on the left, on the le the two wings with the, our new signings that can start to develop as we go along. Obviously, the familiarity is not not that great. It's always going to happen when you get promoted. You've got to sign some players to improve the squad. I've done that. I've still got enough players. I think that this is um, it's a recognisable team. So we've got from last year. We've got Drago, Colucci, Pizzoni, Diaby, Petriccioni, and Riella are all in the team from last year. Plus, pretty much all of the bench with a couple of exceptions. Um, so we've got plenty of players who are familiar with the formation and that gives us that flexibility to um, bring players in uh, and rotate now and then uh, when we need to. I'm not really looking for anything beyond survival this year. I'd like to finish in the middle in mid table. I don't really want to have to worry about survival right to the end. Um, but beyond that, that's fine. I mean, if, if, if I'm safe by February, great and then we can start thinking about what we might be able to achieve uh, is that likely i'm not convinced you look at what happened to us uh, last time we were in this division we were second in november and we still got relegated so i think the chances of us being safe by february are probably not large but obviously that's would be ideal this however is the coppa italia we know we can beat reggiana because we beat them in the playoffs last year so hopefully this is a game we can win it's nice to sort of see out see this new team in action against the team that we know we ought to be quite a bit better than we beat them last year. We've improved the side. At least I hope I have. Um, so hopefully this is a, is a game that we can win with some ease. Uh, but we'll have to do that from behind, unfortunately, because Massetti has given Reggiana the lead. Um, set piece goals are going to happen. Not too worried about that. And we have a corner now. Squizzato picks the ball up from the semi clearance. Cicciarelli. Doesn't manage to get the ball into the centre. Bassett can't find the pass. Colucci now. Can we build something? Colucci to Squitato. Bassett goes through and shoots unnecessarily. We haven't really had big chances in this game. We haven't got a shot on target yet. XG of, well, about 0 0.07 on average. Not ideal. So, yeah, not a great first half, really. We need to be um, creating quite a lot more than that. Just tell them that they can improve. Midfielders might be with your playmaking. Yeah, that's that was that needed to be said really, because we haven't been good in terms of making chances. And we're off in the second half to Disco to D'Amico. <sighs> got away with that a bit. Drago could easily have conceded an own goal there. Got a bit lucky. Need to go for it a bit more now. Just haven't really created enough chances. Um, very very few highlight worthy ones. Riel is going to make way for Roller. Squizzato can make way for Gilberti. It's nice to have all these easy substitutions to make for people who are perhaps flagging. Be going out of the cup here, which would be a shame. It's disappointing to go out to a team that we know we can beat. We have indeed gone out to them. Uh, obviously, bigger fish to fry this year, league and all that. Um, but it's disappointing to see us uh, struggle at the beginning. It uh, doesn't necessarily bode all that well for um, the opening games of the season, which are coming up very, very shortly. So I will be back. Um, in two weeks' time at the latest. I may come back for another transfer update before then. So we've still got two weeks before the season starts. Uh, but short of 
any significant updates to give you. I'll be back for that Pisa game, which we will play, uh, and I'll give you an update on the transfers we've had then. See you in a second. Right, here we are. Um, the first league game of the season. Um, we have made one more signing since uh, last time. It was Luca Meloni, but he's already injured uh, for seven to 11 months. Um, so that's irritating. Obviously, he played in a friendly and yeah. So that was a bit of a useless signing in the end. Um, £51,000, probably down the drain, to be honest, because you know, I don't really see this guy being good enough to be going forward. Uh, if we get relegated, that's different. But if we can stay in the league, then he's the kind of player that I would have wanted to be improving on next year anyway. So I think that's a bit of a shame. And obviously, we will try and recoup some of that. He's 21. No reason why we can't get some of that money back. But it's a very frustrating thing to see happen at this stage of the season without even a single ball kicked uh, in anger. So we are playing away at Pisa today. So we're going to be leaning into this first game of the season and trying to get a win. Oh, sorry, that was really bad. Um, we're going to start with this side. We've got Drago, Papetti, Pizzoni, Colucci, Cecharelli, Bubicar Diari in the halfback role with Rolla, Petrucioni, Volta and Suizato. And then Bolzan will be bolstering our attack. There is plenty of strength and depth. Um, we will be looking to rotate. I say strength, whether the, team, the squad's actually good enough to stay up, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's certainly better than it was. I think it's better than it was the last time we, got, we came up. So that's obviously a, a start, but I certainly don't anticipate this being an easy season. We didn't get the players that I really felt that could really improve us. Bolsan, I think, is a very marginal upgrade on Castellucci and only very marginal. Um, I wanted to get someone a bit better, really, but I just couldn't find it. Um, we do have a bit of a problem money-wise. Um, despite the little bit of help that we've had from the board, we are going to have to um, fight fire a bit this season, um, particularly without the cup run that I was... Sort of hoping we might get a bit off, but actually, I was. I looked at the amount of money that we would have got from it. It would have made a lot of difference anyway. Plus, we had a Syria team in the next round, so the likelihood is that we probably wouldn't have got another round in anyway. So, first meaningful highlight coming up: Matsocchi and Thrago makes a save. Definitely would take a draw, an away game, first game of the season. It'd be nice to just get a point on the board. Obviously, if we can win it, it'd be great. But I'd bite your hand off for a draw right now. Sortea. Good save there by Drago. And Drago makes another save. Cicciarelli to Volta. Can we make something happen now? Volta finds Bolsan. Bolsan's there. Goal on his league debut. Um, and that's a very, very nice way to start. We're under a bit of pressure from Pisa. Uh, and that's our first highlighted attack. Um, and we've managed to get a goal already, which is fantastic. Now can we hold on to it? Looks like we'll make it through to half time unscathed we are a little bit out of the cosh in terms of shots although the possession not so much if we can keep holding on to the ball then maybe we can actually win this game with some ease feels it has a, a bit of a feel of the the playoffs about it here at the moment where we kind of never really looked all that like bothered or worried let's just encourage roller a bit it'll be a great game it might be time to call it a day for him. We've got Riella on the bench. Sweet Sato's not having a great game either, so we will bring on Giliberti. Our left side is well covered, so we have a lot of cover in both the left back and left midfield areas. Mazzocchi has made it 1-1. One, one. It's a shame we couldn't hold on to that. I did say I'd take a point, but having taken the lead and then 13 minutes from time, we've been pegged back. Bit disappointing. Put Della Bassett on just for a few minutes. Oh, of course, we only get three substitutions at this level. I'd forgotten about that. Just get remember to get get used to that again. Don't lose it now. Briella to Papetti. Could we even win it still? Liberti. Volta to Cicciarelli. That's it. That finds Papetti. Can he get the ball in? He can, but can't find a Zaffer on ahead. Cecciarelli has it, though. Petticioni. But Giliberti shoots, but it goes over. And I think that will probably be all. It is. Decent start to the season. It's an away game. Uh, we've got a win. Oh, sorry, we've got a draw. Uh, we could have got a win. Um, and I think that's really, really impressive. So, yeah, that's a good start to the season. It's no more than that. It would have been great to have got that first win, but it's a good start. Um, 
and we're going to have to sort of see how things go from there. I'm still looking for a couple of players, just make that little bit of a, an improvement to the side. Whether it will be any of these players, I don't know. Um, I'll have to have a look through them and see when, once once we have an idea of kind of kind of players that they are. Uh, this guy might be worth bringing in as a backup for various different positions. I don't think he's quite good enough for um, the first team, but just give us that little bit of extra backup. We haven't got a backup right. In fact, we haven't really got a proper... I guess we have got, we got one right back at the moment. Um, Semprini is the other one. Is it here on trial? I'll have a quick look at comparing those two. I will, uh, he's quite good. Um, he might be worth bringing in, I think. And that's very, very, very cheap for a star player at this level. He's been playing well over 100,000 for them. So hopefully that's a bit of an upgrade. However, Giovanni ben he's got a brilliant name. Giovanni Banista and Kona. He's not quite as good a player as I think I need. And we've got quite a lot of strikers at the moment, so I don't think that's something I want to be pursuing. Um, and then Sorin Danchu. No, I don't think so. So Semprini is the one player I'm not sure about. Uh, I think Semprini probably won't happen. Uh, but I will be back for the next game. When will that be? It kind of depends on... I mean, it's good to see that all of these games are being... Tele oh, it's all included, though, so it doesn't make any difference. Um, in terms of who we're going to be playing, the Cremonese are an obvious one, but they got promoted. No, they didn't get promoted with us, so maybe that wouldn't be so stupid. Have we played Cremonese a lot? Nice to play. Have some games against some players, some teams that we haven't played much. Uh, Cremonese, we're not playing them for ages anyway. Piacenza, Pes Pescara, or Sudtirol. Right, I think we're going to have a go at the Piacenza game, um, and then we'll play either Regina or Ascoli, depending on which one looks like a more important game. I think. So that's when I will be back uh, in October. Hopefully by then we'll have a few wins on the board. Uh, I think if we've got at least two wins by then, we should be looking okay. Three wins would be nice. If we get any more than that, then I think things things are going pretty well. And remember, this time uh, two years ago, we were, well, by this time we were flying high. In November, we were second. Uh, so there is a chance, of course, that we could just surprise everyone and start uh, winning games left, right and centre. We haven't had a home game yet, of course. So I'll see you tomorrow for hopefully some of our first wins in, well, hopefully some, not just our first, because you will have, you will have missed some, but hopefully some wins in um, the league would be nice. I'll see you later. Bye for now.